Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how will as define and assign load on our building. And in this video, I will show you that how will assign floor load and also how will assign our flap thickness. So let's start. And uh, if you're new here. You can watch my previous video the link are given in description and also they have many video related to different kinds of software like it apps and uh, another many video you can watch from my playlist so let's start First of all, I'll open a start pro. That is the start pro, and uh, I'll open our previous file from here, recent file. Otherwise, you can also found that file from here. Open project. From open project, you can go to your folder, and from there you can find your file. So press here. This is our previous file. You can see here in 3D mode. So here, close that. Go here in geometry mode. Now, we'll go here, define property page. Then we'll go here, thickness to define our slab thickness. And from here, surface thickness or plate element thickness. They have two ways surface thickness or plate element thickness. So we can use both of it but we'll use plate element thickness so from here uh, suppose we'll use 6 inch slab that's why we'll use 0 0.5 for all point ok 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 every point then we'll select concrete add then close so after that we have to select our consumer mode sorry here click on page and here select that and after that we have to select our slab plate for that we'll go here plate cursor and if we click here we can see that it's selecting wall plate so for that we'll go here from plus y view and from here we'll select all and if we go in 3d mode we're seeing that the wall slab have selected then we'll go here select that sorry after that again we have to go here like that so wall slab have selected then assign to selected plate assign yes so we have assign our slab click here node cursor and go here in 3d mode so we have assign our slab here if we select plate cursor and if we click here then we can see the property from here length of 5 feet and properties it's 0 0.5 feet thickness so close that after that we'll go in our previous video I have told you that use that cursor I mean uh, node cursor and in previous video I have told you that I'll show you that how we'll assign our define and assign our flow load so for that will go here load page and from load page I'll click on it so here plus cause previously we have defined that and for dead load we'll go here add and from here floor load for floor load how will give our floor load suppose will give her it 2.5 k 
keeps after giving here 0.25 keep per square feet there is the important thing range so define y range so we have to define that value from which distance so to which distance we have to provide our flow load then we have to provide load from that point to that point for that we'll click here node cursor and we'll double click here we are seeing that this showing the distance is zero so we'll give here the minimum are zero okay zero feet and for maximum we'll close that we'll again press that here it's showing 50 feet so we'll give here 50 close that now suppose you will assign that load from that point to that point I mean from that point to that point for half of that slab then you have to select this is for X then you have to select that and here wire it's showing here wire 5 then you have to press minimum here minimum are showing x 0 so you have to press a 0 and for maximum you have to press 5 and if you want to cover from that point to that point you have to press here how distance it is 10 in existence is 10 so you have to give her for maximum 10 and from range uh, from uh, there is the 0 point for 0 also so from that point to that point if you want to provide your uh, load then you have to give her 8 or if you provide the load till that point you have to provide her Z but uh, as we are going to provide load from full slab then just will give the range in Y direction and it will give it as 0 so global Y we have to select global Y and sorry it will be minus remember that it will be minus so add and close if we go here you can see that it's showing that the loader it's showing the load if we click here cursor control you can select beam cursor control press control and move your cursor then you can see that it's showing the load and we know that this is the procedure of finite element method I mean uh, the beam will take load from for long direction it will take as trapezoidal and for short direction it will take load as at as triangular shape so it's a the load all already have provided now we'll go here for live load and again in similar way we will add floor load again minus 0 point suppose 2 and here you have to give value here 50 as previous and uh, if you think that you will give that value till suppose you want to give that value till that floor not till that floor here you will give another value then you have to double click here sorry you have to select node cursor and you have to double click here you are showing that this value is 0 to 40 then you have to give here 40 uh, as it is the top float then their live float will be lower than the uh, down floor so press here add close if you click here you are seeing that they are loader in from first floor to um, ground floor to fifth floor not for top floor you can give here difference load for top floor so how it give for that floor again press here 
add I mean I can press live load add and go here floor load here suppose you'll give here 0 0.1 then you have to go here click on it and you are showing that the distance is 50 so as only for that float will provide load only for that float will provide load that's why will give minimum and maximum both 50 so 50 and again 50 when we will give that load then our estate pro will consider for only that floor the minimum or maximum that only for that floor close that add close that and here you are seeing that it's showing value for that floor and it's showing value for the lower floor and it's showing value for that floor you can uh, increase the size of it by press and beam cursor and press control and move your scroll button of your mouse sorry sorry we have done a mistake it's showing uh, the upward direction that value we have provided in 0 0.1 we go to edit giver minus and change close here here you are seeing that it's done so like that way able to assign floor load and also slab thickness so I think it's okay, okay to you and if you think if you have any confusion you can mail me or comment me below and uh, if you need the previous video for clear concept or about that the link are given in description so thank you thank you very much and I think you will be uh, stay with me so that I can go far with you and we can build our engineering community very strong thank you thank you very much